All right, welcome back to Doom Builder. We're going to continue our series on creating a, a vanilla limit removing Doom 2 map for Crispy Doom using Ultimate Doom Builder. So let's get started. Next thing I want to work on is what I'm conceptually considering to be the hub of the map. So I want to make a big circular room kind of in this area up here. Let's talk about the circle builder for a minute. And if you hit Alt Shift D, this will allow you to draw an ellipse or a circle. And you can see this down the bottom. And I've activated it. So if I click to draw, I get this. It's not quite a circle. It's, I mean, it's a polygon. This is like a 10 sided one. You got some options at the top you can look at. Uh, you have your side count, so that's currently 10. Reduce that to four, you can start to get an idea for what that's actually doing. Crank this way up the other direction. Let's go to 30. And it's starting to actually kind of look like a circle. You have a spikiness setting here, which I've never really played with. Um, not 100% sure what it's actually doing here. Okay, yeah, it just makes it spiky. Imagine that. Follows the name. Set that to like 200, make it something extreme, and see what it does. Okay, so that's like a starburst thing. We'll put that back to zero. Lastly, you have angle, which just rotates the entire thing, which at the moment we don't care about. Anyway, let's, let's make our circular room here. I'm going to set my sides to 20. 1920 by 1920 something. I'm not quite sure what it's measuring there, but let's take a look and see what it looks like. This is a pretty large room. This is bigger than what I was envisioning in my mind, so let's undo that. One more time, let's do 1280. Yeah, this works. This works. Okay. Drag that down here. And get this center point lined up here, and then I can drag this vertex up here. This one up here, and this will join our areas. So here's the staircase we worked on before. Comes up to here, open the door, and here's this hub area, whatever you want to call it. Now I want to make it taller. Uh, current height is only 112. You can see that in the bottom left. Let's make that, let's try 160. I'm going to take these metal textures on the outside and we're going to use one of the tech green textures. So for starters, we'll just use tech green 2. Set that up, do a quick auto align, paste that for completeness. And I'm going to go ahead and set up my divider textures here. This 24 by 24. Grab these walls. Set the middle texture to support three. Texture offsets to zero. And here is our standard divider texture for this map. Next thing I want to do is put a circle inside this circle. I sort of want this to be a round hallway that you can loop around this way and the center will have some things going on. I'm going to find my center point, which is going to be about right here, right in the middle of this square. If you can see this 64 by 64 grid. Everything needs to be in comparison to that. Alt D, 448 by 448. That looks a little smaller than I wanted. Let's try 576 by 576. I'm going to get this centered up. Looks pretty close. And then I'm actually going to delete it. Delete the sector, and now we have this thing in the middle. Okay, next thing I want is a sky texture up here, or like a skybox window thing. I'm going to make two more circles. Trying to eyeball where this is going to go. Do that. There we go. Now it's centered. Go ahead and flip these line defs so they are all pointed inward. Just being OCD about it. Now we've got this sort of racetrack running around. So I'm going to take this up here, set the ceiling texture to F sky 1, increase the brightness to 192, and drag that ceiling up a few ticks. 
Now I'm gonna make the rest of the room a little brighter too. So let's do 100, we'll do 144. I think that works. I'll make this a little taller. Go for 32. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four ticks at the scroll wheel. There we go. Now let's set all these to something, just anything, just so it's set. Probably tweak that later. I just didn't want any missing textures. Okay, now I'm going to do one more circle. We'll see why here in a second. I get this all centered. Flip all my line defs. And this is gonna be a recessed carpet. I'm gonna grab these two surfaces, to the floor, and set it to, let's use flat 14. Drag that down one tick. Grab all these and we'll use a step texture here. And we'll just use step one, just for consistency. We're gonna walk in here and this will be sort of like the central main area of the map. And we're gonna be able to do a bunch of stuff in here as we flesh it out. And I think that's about all I wanted to show in this episode. I just wanted to show off the circle maker and draw a number of circles. So that'll be it for this video and stay tuned for the next ones.